Hey, what's up ladies and gents? Welcome to my European Club Championship Player of the Week review in eFootball 2024. Now, let's just take a look at these players and they look some tasty additions here. So let's start off with booster Kevin De Bruyne. So Kevin De Bruyne as a whole player, attacking midfielder, and just look at those effects with the booster on to his ball control, his finishing, his kicking power and physical contact. And then he has a great list of player skills. First time shot, one touch passing, through passing, weighted passing, outside curler low lofted passing pinpoint crossing long range shooting so he is the ideal hole player and looking at his stats you think with that plus two manager boost with his tight possession into the 90s his lofted pass into the 90s as well it is a very very nice looking card he's got he'll have 88 for curling ability i mean he is just one hell of a player here and i mean it's going to be impossible not to recommend him next up is creative playmaker pedri who can play anywhere in that middle area as long as, as well as the left side as well he's got one touch passing through passing long range shooting his kicking power is only 76 so don't expect those long range shots to be all that effective but he's got great tight possession dribbling and ball control and if he's anything like the gp version he's going to be really really nice in your hands and on your fingertips with that high balance as well <coughs> awesome man, who's a goal poacher now in my opinion the gp version is probably actually better than this card in all honesty his attacking awareness isn't it was it's decent enough with that booster with the manager card boosting up to 89 will be enough to make him a decent goal poacher but probably perhaps not as good as the build that i've showed you from the gp offering when it comes to his player skills heading aerial superiority first time shot acrobatic finishing all great to have as a goal poacher and he's got the ability to link in the play with that one touch passing as well marquinhos build up defender he's got 89 defensive awareness and that is a pretty good build stats wise he's got good jumping and physical contact balance he's got some passing ability as well for me he is a little bit short as a center back at 183 centimeters so if you are playing against a big striker he may find it a little bit more intimidating but he has got that 93 for jump so he does make up for that shortness in height with that aerial ability and he's got absolutely brilliant player skills here he's not only got the, the defensive side of things in terms of interception and blocker aerial superiority acrobatic clearance man marking which is what you need he does like slide tackling but he's also got low lofted passing and weighted passing as well for a defender which is very nice to have from especially if you want a ball playing center back brahim diaz attacking midfielder who is also has a booster effect to his tight possession dribbling speed and balance and for a whole player that is very nice i really do like the high tight possession because that enables you to you know sort of twinkle to you around defenders he's got really good high balance ball controls excellent as well he's got excellent low passing ability and i was really hoping with those high passing stats and that ball control and tight possession i want him to be able to play those through balls and he's got one touch passing through passing weighted passing would have been a nice addition but he's also got the ability to shoot from range with that long range curler long range shooting player skills when it actually comes to skills double touch marseille turn soul control chop turn absolutely perfect for me this is probably gonna be another one of my recommendations next up is louis alberto box to box player really good tight possession ball control low passing lofted passing stats good kicking power decent balance for a box to box midfielder his defensive aspect is a little bit lacking but let's take a look at his player skills one touch passing through passing weighted passing absolutely perfect long range shooting let's take a look at his kicking power 82 is absolutely fine for long range shooting he's also got double touch marseille turn sombrero soul control which are all very nice to have luke de Jong, a target man 87 attacking awareness 88 finishing 92 heading you know he's not the quickest but you don't you tend to find target men generally aren't he's got good jumping ability and physical contact as well so the ideal target man here if that's what you're looking for acrobatic finishing heading aero superiority is exactly what you need for a target man first time shot as well that's really important and then he's got the ability to link the play with one touch passing and through passing as well so very very nice and he's got the super sub so definitely a nice player to come off the bench and cause some havoc in your opponent's back line if you're sort of losing or drawing the game and you need something a little bit different up front otavia sorry otavio a destroyer center back in my opinion again i'm not a fan of the destroyer type especially with his high aggression that means he's gonna be very susceptible if you press that secondary player press he's gonna be charging out of defense he's got great physical co contact though and he has got a high defense awareness so he's gonna be a pretty decent defender but against higher tier players i think you're gonna find him get a little bit exposed perhaps to one twos interception blocker slide tackle man marking 
All good stuff to have. And offensively, he's got heading as well. So he's going to be a threat from corners, especially at 188 centimeters tall. Arnaitovic, who's a goal poacher, but in my opinion, his attacking awareness is way too low to make him much of a threat. Take a look at his player skills, long range shooting, long range curler, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, and a super sub, but probably one of the lesser players in the pack. Lunin, pretty standard goalkeeper, not all that special. Probably the worst card so far that we've seen. And next up is Matson, who's a whole player. He's got some decent stats, but nothing sort of outstanding in comparison to the other cards we've already seen. He lacks one touch passing, which is a bit disappointing. <laughs> Excuse my dog. <laughs> Getting involved in the uh, in the video. So my recommendations from this pack, I mean, this is going to be so difficult. Kevin De Bruyne, easily number one. Brahim Diaz is probably number two. And then it really does depend what you're after. I mean, Luke De Jong, nice target man. Lou Alberto, pretty good offensive box-to-box -box midfielder. You are probably going to need some cover defensively, though, for him. So it does depend on the players you've got alongside him. Marquinhos, another excellent recommendation. And then Pedri as well. So there's, there's tons of players here that I would recommend. And it's really hard to pick the top three. But if I'm going to pick them, I'm gonna, if you're going to put me on the on the line, then Kevin De Bruyne, Brahim Diaz, I'm going to stick my neck out and go Luke De Jong. There's something a little bit different to my team. But Marquinhos is very nice, too. So it's, a, it's literally a flip a coin between those two. Anyway, Anyway, that is pretty much it for me, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching. And there's some excellent players in the Player of the Week and the European Player of the Week packs. So it's really going to be hard to decide which I'd actually roll for. I think this is the better pack ever so slightly, but it really does depend on you and your own personal squads. Anyway, like I said, that's all for me, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.